Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with this our uninformed search algorithms in the artificial intelligence. The the last one in this uninformed search uh, uninformed search algorithms is a bidirectional search algorithm. So far, I have explained different types of search algorithms. Be, uh, that is now let's see the bidirectional search algorithm. Bidirectional means here we are doing the searching in two ways. So what is this two ways? Let's see. It runs two simultaneous search. So that I am saying here. It runs two simultaneous search. How? One from the initial state called as a forward search. Means start with from initial state from the root node. One from the initial state called the forward search. And other from the goal node called the backward search to find the goal node. So by seeing the, by reading this what I am understanding means before the one thing here it is cleared. I need to know the root node as well as the goal node before I am starting the work. Because I have to start the search from the backward also. So if you want to start the uh, search from the backward means from where I, I have to start. Root node means you already know by seeing the ref. Goal node means which node up to now we don't know. So starting itself I compulsory uh, it goal node should be known to everyone. So then you start from the goal node and search backward. Then how can I get is my, it is a, a solution or not? Let's see here. The bidirectional search, it runs two simultaneous search. One from the initial state called the forward search and other from the goal node called the backward search to find the goal node. It replaces one single search graph with two small subgraphs. So whatever the graph we are taking, I am going to divide it into two subgraphs in which one starts the search from initial vertex and another starts from the goal vertex. So whatever the graph they are given, first thing is you have to divide that graph into two subgraphs. One will be started at the initial vertex and another will be started at the goal vertex. The search stops when the search will be stops. The search stops when these two graphs are intersect each other. So whenever these two searches, one is coming forward, another is coming backward. Whenever this forward and backward meet one point, intersect each other, then you need to stop the search. Stop the search. So the bidirect bidirectional search can be used search techniques such as BFS, DFS, DLS or whatever it may be. Okay. So I divided the graph into two graphs. So for in each subgraphs you can apply the technique of breadth first search depth first search or depth limited search or uniform cost search whatever it means if numbering weight is given you can go for the uniform cost search also what are the advantages or disadvantages of using this bidirectional search before going to the example let's see the advantages the advantages here is the bidirectional search is a fast why it is fast? Because I divided the complete graph into two graphs. Okay. So one is doing one work and another is doing another work means so they are searching becomes fast. So at a time the two backward search and the forward search will be uh, going on. The bidirectional search requires the less memory also. Then what about the disadvantages? Implementation of the bidirectional search tree is difficult. In bidirectional, bidirectional search one should know the goal state in advance. So that I am saying here. If you want to do the backward search means you need to know the goal node in advance only. So that is one of the drawback here. Let me explain you with an example about this bidirectional search. I am saying I am always talking about it. Is, I am dividing the graph into two graphs. How it is possible. Let's see here. Okay. Let me take a graph like. Let me take this is a one. Uh, four. Two. And let me take this the three node, this another vertex six, five, and let's take these two are connected to eight, and this will be connected to nine, and again nine will be connected to ten, ten is connected to eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, let me take fifteen and sixteen. So let me take, this is my root node, initial node. So here I am taking the goal node as 16. Let me take, this is my goal node. Okay. So now here there is, uh, this is the, I am dividing at the node 9, which is the intersection node intersection let me take 9 as an intersection node so whenever the search 
reaches the line whenever the forward search this is a forward search forward search here i am doing forward search from initial to this and here i am using the backward search backward search so whenever this forward search and the backward search intersect at one node then we have to stop the searching and you can say 16 is obviously a goal node okay how it is starts so it takes from starts from one and reaching to here and it starts from 16 and reaching to here so in this way it will do the searching this is a bidirectional search so here in the completeness uh, the completeness of this bidirectional search is complete because if we use a breadth first search in both the searches it breadth first search is always completeness if you use a bfs and here and here it should be complete the order and the time complexity in search complexity is same as the breadth first search and for the bidirectional also and the bidirectional is also optimal thank you